ahead and demonstrate how to make the miniature train wheel. There's more than one way to do this. I'm going to demonstrate one. I'm going to put a sketch plane on this top face and then rotate it 90 degrees. Might not make sense why at first, but you'll see why soon. Go ahead and draw a rectangle originating from the origin. And some people might use the line tool for this. Um, I hope to show you some tips and tricks along the way to make your modeling of this thing a whole lot faster. I dimension this rectangle to be an inch by 0.25. I'm going to go ahead and put a circle at the end here on the midpoint and then as I bring it up I'm going to wait for that tangent constraint to show. Make it tangent to the top. I'm going to draw a rectangle down here. Now as I do this you might start to see the profile of this shape. Again it's going to be a revolved shape using this right side as the axis and then we're going to cut a hole through it so we can go ahead and trim some of this excess geometry we won't need and Inventor won't let me trim it all so as you notice if I go ahead and go ahead and try and trim this it says uh, can't do that you got a dimension attached there and so I'm just going to leave it for now it's not going to be a big deal and then I'm going to go ahead and dimension this shape's location and size it's located in 0.25 there and from the drawing, I see this edge is 0.75. And it's got a height right to the center mark, or center of this part, um, 0.125. That's enough. Uh, before I add my fillets, and the drawing says the fillets are a typical radius of 0 0.0625. So type in your amount first, and then click on the point that you want to uh, add your fillet to the intersection of those two lines and that quickly adds your fillets. We're ready to revolve this shape so hit finish sketch and now you can see this view matches the same view in the isometric of the tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and choose this as my profile to revolve and the axis is going to be that interior line or edge and choose OK for a full revolution and there's the basic wheel and now I gotta add my spokes which I'm gonna put on this back side so put a sketch on the back and I'm gonna go ahead and use some lines as reference so I'm gonna just draw a line here not sure what size or location yet but they originate from the origin and the last line I'm gonna draw here I'm gonna make this one a construction line and this is gonna be my origin so I'm gonna bring it out just like that and uh, go ahead and add some dimensions now so the dimensions of these two lines which mark the outside edge of the spoke is gonna be dimensioned at 30 degrees and this edge to the horizon I dimension that is gonna be 15 degrees that's gonna matter later on and you'll see why I'll use a circle and I'm going to use this circle concentric with that center mark as the, uh, the outside circle. I forgot to uncheck uh, construction though, so I'm going to redo that. Undo it, and this time when I choose circle, I'll uncheck that construction line, and when I draw it, it's an object line. That's exactly what I wanted. I'll draw another circle here, and I'm getting this shape right here, this, this spoke shape and then I'm gonna go ahead and dimension it to make sure I get the right size so I click the D key as a shortcut for that uh, exterior is going to be 0.625 that's a radius value in the drawing so I need to multiply that so I'll use the asterisk key times 2 and then I'm gonna do this interior circle and so I will type that in as 0.375 asterisk 2 that's multiplied by 2 and again that's my shape that I want I'll trim some of this geometry that I don't need so all this extra circle down here to the construction line I don't need out here these lines I don't need and I'm gonna trim this because otherwise you might have some issues with inventor choosing this shape to extrude I am done finish that sketch I'll go ahead and hit extrude and I can go ahead and choose that shape I'm gonna make it a cut and distance all. I'll say OK and then I'll need to do a circular pattern. So I'll click the circular pattern tool and I will choose as the feature that extrusion and uh, I'll choose as a rotational axis any circular feature because they're all concentric and it says by default mine was six and that's exactly how many I need so I'll choose OK and it makes six spokes cut out just like that.
Next step would be the hole, right through the middle, the axle hole, and I'll make it a concentric reference, and I'll place it right here on this face, and my concentric reference is this or any rounded feature. And so I'm going to make sure I choose that one, and the depth on this one is actually through, so I can change that to through all, and its diameter is going to be, according to the drawing, 0.28. So there's the hole for the axle peg. Next up is going to be uh, this little peg that pops out here that will attach to um, another part of the train. I'm going to draw a circle, and this one is located right on this horizon line here, the x-axis. I'm going to go ahead and dimension it for its location from the origin over and it is located according to the drawing 0.7 inches over and its diameter of this hole is going to be 0.25 it's partially on here so it's going to be interesting when I go to extrude this what's going to happen so let's choose extrude choose that circle and then choose a distance of and it's hard to read this one but the 0.375 it gets extruded out to and it actually looks a little bit longer but uh, it's not that's correct because we're gonna put a sketch on this top surface now and I told you it, it kinda molds right into that exterior of that wheel so you see this over over uh, hang there but I'm gonna go ahead like I said and put a sketch plane on this top surface and draw a circle here and this circle concentric to the other one go ahead and dimension it this circle is going to be actually a cut that we're going to make. Uh, we want to make, we want to leave rather uh, a, another cylinder on top of this. So I dimension it to be 0 0.125. I'll finish the sketch and I'm going to extrude a cut, and it's going to be this exterior shape. I'm going to cut it, and the distance down I'm going to cut it is 0.125, and that is dimensioned in the drawing. I'll choose OK, and now we see this little stem coming off of that extra peg. It needs a hole on it so we'll use the hole tool and go ahead and choose concentric for our reference. We'll put it on this plane and our concentric reference we can't choose because the the, the hole is too big so let's change the size of that hole first. And according to the drawing that hole is 0 0.0625. It does have a depth so let's give it a distance. Oop, I should I gotta fix that 0 0.0 not 0.9 that's way too big. Uh, the depth of this is 0.25. Now I still need to choose my concentric reference because it's a little off center. It was too big before, but now I can see that outside circle because the diameter is just right. I'll choose OK, and that is your finished wheel.